My journey has come to an end. I have lost my home, my books, my sons. I've lost my father and my grandmother. My dear wife, Catherine. And now I fear my only daughter is gone as well. And for what? For the slimmest hope that things could be put right? What began as my tedious life in the cleft, holding out hope for more, has returned to the same. I've gone to great lengths to watch the end be written, and now, now I find myself alone in a sandstorm in Tomana, waiting for a single grain of sand to fall. Dunny's future is like an hourglass, as the final grain slips through. I wait and I tremble, losing hope that the hourglass will be turned over once again. The age may just simply end, expended and lifeless. I have passed my cursed burden onto my cherished daughter, Isha. She has either understood and embraced it, or the weight of it has crushed her. I fear it has been far too long. My hope has waned. If Yisha has failed, is anyone left who can understand? Oh, I am old and so tired. And once again, I am useless. Today, I will put an end to my useless waiting and go on to a better place.
So, friend, the tablet has responded to you. Of course. If you're seeking my father, his time has passed. He won't be requiring your assistance. The book to his cursed island lays locked and gathering dust in his prison. That book, along with his pain and his burden, have been passed to me. And now you will know it too. You will listen carefully. This is not to be taken lightly. The tablet has responded to you. It will be your burden. Choose wisely in the end. For there will be no second chance. Many have taken this tablet. And they tried not to let go. It is the power of the writing. It seduces all who try to hold it. I have held it. Tasted its sweetness. But I can hold it no longer. They have served too long. Always serving. Ever watching. And now perhaps you will see how to release them. First, collect what's been scattered. And then the tablet will be released. Then you will hold it. You will find in each age along the journey that there will be help. And there will be hindrance. You will start this journey where I started. Where my father Atris started. Where my great-grandmother Tiana started. You will end this journey here. When the tablet is released. When you return, the tablet will be yours. When the tablet is yours. Do not give it to me. What you still don't understand, you have failed to hear or don't need to know. Begin. seen Yisha. She was, I'm sure, not very hospitable. You're confused, no doubt. My name is Escher. It is my pleasure to meet you. She has given you the quest. Yes, the quest. The quest to carry the four, the quest to release the tablet, the quest that is proving to be more difficult than she anticipated. Many have taken the quest. And the tablet still has no master. I will tell you what she will not. I will help you when she will not. But she and I agree on this point do not give her the tablet. She has lied to you already. Uttered words that bite her heart as they leave her lips. She wants the tablet more than anything. She desires what she can no longer feel, but once tasted. You must not. Whatever happens, give it to her. Oh, 
She is the desert bird that longs to fly. She has dreams of taking flight in her ambiguous world filled with vague clouds and shadowed air. <laughs> Careful. She is a clown. I'm sorry. I'm overwhelming you. <laughs> Look for the hole in the ground. That's where your journey begins. I will find you. These pages are my journey, my story, my path. They're not meant to cover up, but to reveal. Sometimes in poems, sometimes in stories, sometimes clear, sometimes vague, sometimes long, sometimes brief. But the release of these words is a soothing elixir to my burdened soul. The words must flow from me, or I will die. And in the end, these words are crumbs that spill along my path. And whoever eats these crumbs will know more of me. I am finding where I am by understanding where I was. And everything I was is linked to the Island of Mist, the refuge. And I must know where they were as well. My heritage, my people, my family. My father, the prisoner of the hidden and the revealed. Raised by Tiana, who hid the truth. Then raised by Gen, who revealed the truth. But Tiana hid for love, and Gen revealed for power. Mother, too, nothing more than a slave to what she knew and what she felt. Taught by Gen to write what she knew, then taught by Tiana to write what she felt. But Gen's teachings imprisoned her, and Tiana's teachings freed her. And in the end, through the hidden and revealed, through the known and the felt, through the good and the evil, through the gods and the devils, they came together. Together they came, father floating and mother caring, father knowing and mother feeling. And my great-grandmother Tiana watched, and my grandfather Gen fell. And so began our path of pain. Tiana was called the Destroyer, but she brought them together, and lived with them on Mist Island. Father could not keep Mist simple. New structures and new ages he brought. Mother could not keep Mist solitary. Two new sons she brought, my brothers, Cirrus and Akinar. 
And they grew up strong and hungry and lustful, like their grandfather, Gen. Unable to control the power of books, the power of writing ages. And as a result, all became prisoners, prisoners in their refuge. I will never return to that place. Pride is a thief. Pride stole the soul of the Denis people. Pride stole my own brothers. The temptation was too great. It is not the power, but the desire for power that destroys. That desire is in my blood. The blood of my ancestors, the blood of my flesh. I fight it, but I am pulled even now. My father tried to hide what he valued, his books and ages. While my brothers tried to hide what they valued, riches and power. Father was trusting, or naive, and ages and people were destroyed. And so my family was imprisoned. My brothers in ages written by father. Father in a Denis prison he had escaped from in childhood. And mother in the world she loved and feared the most. Riven, her home her refuge. Perhaps it's why I now fear my home, my refuge. And then by the maker, or by the role, a stranger found the book. The book had been intended to be destroyed by fire, but by the maker, or by the role, it was taken far away. The book was preserved until it was time. Surely it was the maker who preserved the book that would bring help. Now it was time. A stranger found the book, came to the island and freed father. A lesson was learned. A friendship was forged. Friendship. The least are my friends. I must use the least wisely. I must listen to them and respect them. They are powerful, they are willing, and they are afraid. this be? On their backs, this fallen empire was built. Hypocrisy. Such abuse of power, I think they even deluded themselves into believing their own lies. 